Hello everyone. So uh, we just finished our lunch break. So uh, welcome back everyone. So you are in the financial service and API tracks. So our first section is uh, we have Trevor, uh, the management director, uh, who is the head of digital and ecosystem innovations, institution banking group at the best Hong Kong and Greater Bay Area. So Trevor, hello. Hi, yeah. so, good afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Sir. Yeah, thanks. And your voice is loud and clear. So um, uh, this section, I will help uh, Trevor to project the screen. So uh, yeah, so let me share the screen first. <clears throat> okay, so let's see this, whether the screen can pop up. <clears throat> okay, so um, the screen should be loud on the screen. So uh, Trevor, I pass the time to you so that you can introduce a topic, dissecting the myth of APIs. Thanks. Thank you, Patrick. Well, it's my honor to represent DPS, uh, to spend 20 minutes with uh, many of you in, somewhere in Mexico, somewhere in Singapore and Hong Kong. Um, so you probably know DPS, uh, well, is the best bank and has been leading in digital. So I want to spend 20 minutes about, well, 15, 16 slides about what API really can help to transform our digitalization in the community. Uh, next slide, please. So before we start, I would like to share some macro data in Hong Kong. FPS is stand for fast payment service. Basically, it's a real-time payment. So you scan or you key in, money goes straight away in seconds. So on the left-hand side is the data from the Hong Kong MA, which is the government bodies. Uh, transaction amount has increased 80% from Q2 2020 to Q1 2021 versus credit card is only increased 21%. So it means FPS is the trend. We need to grab it. So the right hand side is the number of transaction uh, in million and also the uh, number of account as well. You can see double digit growth in terms of percentage plus 86% and plus 43%. So all is a good indication we need to rely on this uh, macroeconomy uh, financial wave. Next slide, please. So the future trend is not just about real-time payments collection. You can see the article below for Hong Kong MA and also the uh, Hong Kong newspaper. As highlighted in blue, Hong Kong MA will also consider leveraging the FPS advantages of 24-7 operations and main installment instantaneous payment to enhance cross-border bank remittance services. So with the ECMY, so there's a discussion. So you don't want to miss this ECMY opportunity. FPS is critical in, in, in our economy, in Hong Kong and even cross-border. Next slide, please. So to merchant, why FPS, right? Let's get to from the uh, macro economy, macro finance to the merchant. So it is instant money, lower transaction free, and easy reconciliation. We heard a lot from our partners, from our clients. Hey, uh, uh, they collect check, or they collect money, or they do TT or auto pay. How can they actually cheaper, faster, instant, and easy reconciliation? These are the really uh, benefits uh, you all should be aware of. Next slide, please. So in order to use FPS properly, there's a we call FPS do QR collection and DBS API reconciliation. So if you're SME, you're using a ERP or accounting software. There's a lot of them in the market and there may not be any dominant player, but don't worry, we support all kinds of ERP and accounting software. So the ping pong is, Many reconciliation of funding and invoice, you may probably still have a paper and then give you and then chop it and then have a delivery looked too many. It's not this century thing of uh, running your business. Difficulty to match if similar invoice amounts, right? So you thought people similar amount, but they may make mistake. Then when you go to uh, uh, audit or if you really go to list your company, if an accountant or auditor find this, it can be a unnecessary trouble. And fail to match the warm amount paid invoice, info written. So it does happen, right? Human mistake. So next slide, please. So what is the solution after we hear all the ping pongs? So you want a FPS dynamic QR code collection. 
which is unique per invoice. So every invoice will have a corresponding number for the FPS collection. P define the value, the invoice number, the amount, and scan and pay, very easy. So, and, and most important is, all this capability is good, but the lower half, which is the DBS API reconciliation, payment notification. So when scan, then you get notification, then it can log off the uh, uh, invoice in your accounting software or in the ERP, basically auto reconciliation. Next slide, please. So I'm very happy to uh, share uh, one of our clients. Uh, this is the customer testimony, Brilliant Accounting Fellowship Secretary Limit. So this is the uh, uh, voice from the finance controller. Why we consider FPS again? Instant funding, low transaction fee, easy reconciliation. So the finance can have real-time working capital, loaded to wait for the two days, three days to check, or need to worry about uh, uh, where, 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 which invoice can they really use the money. Because they need to clear, they need to be booked, then they, they are allowed to use the money. Tech department, what do we think about DBS API service? We will do the pairing with unique API QR code. So we'll do the accounting system such as zero. So for the payment receive enabling auto reconciliation. If you are wondering, because now we are going into kind of SME or uh, online app or e-commerce company, you may only have one or two staff or only yourself. You really want to automate everything. And no need for tracking physical receipts because everything are electronically stored. And there's a clear guidelines on API, uh, DBS API uh, implementation with the te dedicated technical team. At the end, you will meet some of our, my, my colleagues. So why we recommend this service? Because, well, there's a lot of benefits and other accounting firms should be considering. Next slide, please. So I want to share more, which is for the e-commerce SME. So for the e-commerce SME, <clears throat> so you probably do everything online, right? You don't meet the client. So web, website log refresh after customer paid FPS. So some of you may be using FPS, but even the people scan and pay, but the amount, the website is not dynamically updated. We don't have this problem. Our technology will avoid this kind of poor customer experience, confuse the customer calls hotline, and damage customer experience. And also, yes, uh, um, because you probably will lead, you if you don't have this, we call the ICM, uh, uh, instant uh, uh, reconciliation. So that is something that can help you to avoid the manual reconciliation. Very, very important capability for us. Next slide, please. So the solution similarly is a dynamic QR, unique per invoice, P-defined values, and easy display. And the benefit of the DBS API is payment notification, hence the website can be refreshed once the money is received. So it won't be shown the QR again once money is received. It's very important. That can uh, reduce a lot of your customer campaign, call in, this kind of frustration. Next slide, please. So DBS equips you with full range of APIs. We have more than 500 APIs, not just cash, payment, collection. Later, we will mention about our trade uh, financing capability as well. Uh, we can actually, we will seamlessly end-to-end -end customer journey with real-time APIs to solve real-world problem. So we actually have a, uh, a journey design team. In fact, if you want uh, more advice about not just API integration, but how to design the digital experience, the CJ or EJ. We are happy to work with you. Low extra fee. Next slide, please. So I want to share more use case here. So just now, again, we talk about FPS, which is very pretty much Hong Kong local. But how about if you do e-commerce, you need to do handle ethics. Then you probably will do 724 ethics, right? You don't want to get into a bank, they only take care of your ethics order in the working hours. With the current uh, 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 dynamic political situation between West and East side of the world, so you want the 724 uh, uh, convenience. And it's just Swift GPI. 
which is global payment initiatives. So we basically can help you if the money goes or in full uh, uh, SWIFT, we can give you the uh, alert. Secondly, is the FPS EDDA. So it's getting more in, uh, 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 for the payment rental. This is very important. And POPC check. Actually, I learned this from Patrick. So some of the uh, uh, training school, so before they pay the money, they want to check, okay, this account, is it really this person? So we have this capability for API as well. And lastly, the trade financing transaction application. Next slide, please. So the 24 seven FX Swift GPI, how does it work? And what's the scenario? The scenario is a uh, wholesaler sourcing from China and selling to US exposed to FX risk. So the trade world cr uh, crosses update at midnight, right? So FX could fluctuate a lot overnight. So what we do, you can, con you can, we can provide the API integrate with your ERP or accounting system. Then we'll pair with our Swift GPI to track cost border incoming and outgoing funds. As you can see at the top right, that is our uh, uh, online banking uh, UI. So it's very easy, internet style design. You can check the pairing. You can uh, uh, or, uh, book your order instantly or everything is online. And I would like to share that we have a partner testimony, uh, NSTC Zhu Hansing. It is the leading treasury management platform in China. And they have integrated with our FX API and leveraging our Swift GPI capability. So that gives them the full control of what is going on in the FX uh, transaction. Next slide, please. So FPS has EDDA. Well, DDA, direct debit authorization, now is talking EDDA. And you want things loaded to go to the branch, everything apply online. And then you can, uh, like this scenario, is a car park property management company. So the rent and management fee collection are by check handled by manually with huge effort. Who paid, we used to pay the right amount and all these kind of uh, uh, manual work needs to happen. And you may say, okay, low check, power credit card, but it is not instant and the fee is high, the transaction fee, if you are talking large amounts, so talking about maybe 50,000, 100,000 for rental. So the cash flow is tight and you are not uh, instant. So working capital is very important for many corporates. Even you are, you don't work, you don't have a cash flow problem, but you want to have idle cash. So you can earn the interest from the bank. So there's a, a lot of re reasons we should move to FPS DDA. So basically it will send a request via API to minimize paper uh, paperwork. And then uh, it will uh, uh, sending uh, out SMS reminder by batch as well. So all these payment notification API, uh, we are, I have to say we are pretty advanced in the uh, Hong Kong, China and Singapore markets. Next slide, please. And the POPC check I, I mentioned just now, a lot of tutorial center paying part-time tutors per their contribution, right? So they, they may just register and then they go to the uh, 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 train after the cars and then they want to get paid. So you want to check, okay, is this is this number really uh, uh, belongs to you? So all this can be integrated with the ERP or HR system for our API. So it's a proxy check. Again, this is our uniqueness because our great digital uh, competence in the bank. Uh, next slide, please. We talk a lot about, uh, again, cash collection, ethics. Trade is very important, especially in Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong is the trade hub, well, for the China go out or go in China. So we are actually uh, have API ready for like this scenario and import, export a wholesaler. They have obtained the trade financing credit limit for invoice financing. So we can connect to the ELP and then they can just upload the documents and, and they will get the uh, uh, money uh, uh, advice and drawdown advice uh, automatically. So the solution is we have the trade API enable submission of info and minimize uh, menu input and uh, is faster funding. So uh, if you are working, if your client or if yourself, is in the wholesale industry, please contact us. Uh, our solution is already implemented uh, with uh, clients in Hong Kong. So uh, we are very happy to share. And again, 
Uh, we have our journey design, our UI UX team. We are happy to share and even work with you guys to design your digital transformation. Uh, 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 low extra fee, again. Next slide, please. So we, we talk about um, API, and I think this event also mentioned about data interchange. And I'm very proud to share with uh, the audience here that uh, we, DBS, is funds one on the data interchange initiative. So uh, this data interchange initiative, we past six to nine months, we have been uh, working with uh, PopTech, which is property technology uh, our company, payment tech, so company using uh, a new way to uh, settle, to settle uh, rental for the uh, SME or even big uh, companies. Uh, supply chain, uh, e-commerce or trade financing platform, uh, we are working with them. So we are in a good position to pull all this data and run a SME and then able to do better uh, financing decision, credit assessment. So if you are one of the company uh, in the payment tech, pop tech or supply chain tech or even other kind of technology, feel free to contact us. We are very happy to speak with you. And uh, we have a great, uh, uh, you can see the API capability. We understand the specific scenario. And again, we are able to advise you on the digital transformation, uh, the best practice, how DBS is uh, uh, transforming uh, ourselves. We are happy to share. Uh, next slide, please. And this is my last slide. So uh, these are uh, some of our DBS digital partner. As you can see on the left, uh, digital portal specialists. So they understand our API law. Uh, they will pull in the uh, relevant uh, bankers to involve it in the discussion. And the right hand side, which is the ecosystem and partnership specialists, uh, Pony and Gigi. So um, they 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 understand you. They understand your industry. What are the typical scenarios? What technology? Which product? And then we'll join you with uh, uh, Muhammad Ali and Wilson uh, to advise you the best way to use our technologies and this transformation. And lastly, uh, I very get uh, uh, honored to mention there's a customer testimony at the bottom, uh, which is Lover CPA Limited. So uh, that is something I think early this year, uh, one January. So uh, it's not about just the technology. It's very important, right? You need people understand your business, what problem you want to solve, and then help you to implement fast and easy. So don't want to get your tech colleagues uh, uh, frustrated and say everything is impossible, right? You want the tech guys, the implementation work very smooth. So this is the testimony saying, ABM in implementation is fast with excellent ongoing technical support for our open banking development journey. DBS API help us streamline and integrate on our accounting and payment processes because we are bank and we know technology and we know what needs to be transformed for your business scenario. So that's why we are able to uh, 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 perform these uh, services. And, the, and we have very good documentations. Uh, we are a lot like, well, B1 or two APIs, one guy support you. We have a troop of professional API digital colleagues. So uh, API documents are well structured, well prepared, and we follow the most safest security standard in the internet world. And well, finally, well, hope other Hong Kong SME can also enjoy uh, DBS uh, digital uh, uh, API services. So Patrick, that's all I have uh, for today. Thanks. So thanks, Trevor. So, yep. So um, I, I, I think I can uh, catch quite a lot of time is uh, from Trevor saying that, okay, something you, we will do for fee. <laughs> this is something that we yes. really interesting. Yeah, especially well, when we talk to uh, yeah. It's really, I think Sorry. Patrick is, I think sometimes we, we I, I personally like banker. So if you read my LinkedIn, I, I work in technologies, uh, consulting from telco to IT, to cloud, to transformation consulting past 20 something years. I, I think it's very important. My team is, we are open. We are willing to understand your challenge. And if we don't have it, we will put in uh, other partners to, to, to solve the client business problem. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I think it's interesting because uh, most of the time when we work with enterprise or even some uh, bank parlor, so there's a lot of talking about all overheads and what is the uh, actual investment. So I can see uh, Trevor's mentioned a lot of time they would like to work extra for fee. So uh, if you have any question and if you want to uh, work with uh, Trevor, so feel free to reach out to them. So we do have um, a question here. So I think one of our audience is uh, curious, uh, Deep is having uh, 500 plus API in, maybe in different region. So uh, how can actually how DBS uh, identify which service should go first in different uh, region. Do you have any uh, quick tips to share? For example, you mentioned a, a lot of uh, payment. So uh, do you have any quick um, methodology or, or thoughts how the bank should uh, select the effect specific services uh, for API? Well, I will say, well, first of all, how do we get into this 500 plus API journey? It's really business and customer driven. We are not a bunch of well, say technical people want to open this API, might be a microservice. No, we are customer centric. And of course, payment and collection, everything moves to real time. People want to see the balance. So we will we will partner with this company who am, 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 uh, uh, what's the English word? Embark the digital transformation. And of course in China, China is a big um, uh, uh, manufacturing country, right? lots of trade so trade financing uh api is more advanced uh, with our dbs china team hmm. okay and so, also um, you sorry metric and also you saw i mentioned about the data interchange of course low doubt we are one of the uh participants in the hong kong ma cdi commercial data interchange and also singapore cdi which is common data infrastructure so that we do have API connect to, well, pull the data from blockchain, enabling supply chain financing. So we are, we are very strong in that space as well. But everything is, we will not just lock our door and then build things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Uh, another question is uh, more from the regional perspective. So uh, we are a Hong Kong, so people from Hong Kong would like to know more about the maybe the, the common or differences when uh, maybe the banks is try to handle different regions. For example, uh, you mentioned about Singapore, maybe Hong Kong, and I know that Trifa is also responsible for Greater Bay Area as well. So do you have any one or two uh, quick observations or tips uh, for the audience to handle those uh, uh, differences, uh, especially Hong Kong with other market, etc. Yeah, I think there's a two things important. It's a good question because DBS ourselves, our API architecture is centralized. It's not like each market has own gateway and all this. No, we centralized. Mm. So it means if you're a big comp, you connect to our firewall, our, 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 our API, our public API one time, the rest of the uh, onboarding of other API is easy. It's not talking even weeks, it's talking days or even two, three days, it's easy. But of course, we need to realize every country, just like the uh, FPS or Singapore called FP or India called UPI, so they, they, their payload are different. So of course, you need to uh, 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 customize or you need to follow our API per local uh, payment protocol. So this is, this is must do, right? But again, uh, we are we our our rapid our gateway. Uh, I mean, uh, API gateway are centralized. That enable us to onboard incumbent customer very very fast. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so maybe I guess that's why you call DBS API is a rapid API. Maybe. No. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, yes. Okay, so uh, I think that's almost time and really thanks for Trevor's support uh, on this uh, sharing. And then uh, we do heard a lot, a lot of different angle, especially from Hong Kong's perspective and different uh, region perspective. So if you have um, any thoughts, we want to reach out Trevor's team, so feel free to reach out them. So um, um, so you can reach out offline or, or even through the email, LinkedIn, et cetera. So thanks again, Trevor, for your time. So thanks. For thank that. you, thank you, Patrick. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thanks thank for you. Bye-bye. See you yep, soon. Bye-bye.